Okay, now let's have a look at MIDI shift mode. We've uh, just had a quick look at MIDI mapping. So in Ableton, Control M puts us into mapping mode, and I'm actually going to delete off all the mappings that we've just made. You can start afresh. Just want to map a send, so I'm just going to click on send A, and we use this analog rotary. And you can see there it comes up 169, and that's basically telling me that it's MIDI channel 16 and controller number 9. So if I come out of MIDI mapping mode, we'll move this, and you'll see that that is now operating the send. And what I want to do is multi-map this control. 4D has a great little feature where if you press and hold this encoder, you'll notice it says shift underneath. It will put us into a shift mode, which is displayed on the BPM display, SFT. This allows us to completely remap the surface. And just to prove it, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into MIDI mapping mode. I'm going to go on to send B, and I'm going to map the same control. And what you'll see now is it's sending 15.9 instead of 16.9. In order that we can make the MIDI relatively seamless in the way that it works, we do need to be able to use it without any nasty results. If I'm looking at the moment, send B, if I put it three quarters of the way up, you see send A is down at zero. So if I swap my layer. Historically, as soon as I move this control, we would see uh, the send A come flicking around to the position of the controller. But if you watch, we have to go down to the position that send A is in to pick it up. There. I'll bring that to about halfway. If I now go into my shift mode, same control, and I have to go and get my send B and take it down to zero. Swap layers, same control again. My send A is halfway. I need to go up and get it so I can turn it up to full.